Hi, I'm Mick. Unfortunately this year I wasn't able to make it to Superbooth because of bloody life and work and all of that stuff. Um, but while I was here at home I watched all of the footage that came out of every YouTube orifice. As soon as I saw the Polybrute 12 announcement I emailed Signal Sounds and I just basically said give it to me, I want it, give me the cream and uh, instantly put a pre-order down as soon as they came available and I'm super excited to get it. To me the Polybrute 6 is probably my favourite synthesizer because it's a synth that I've written so much music with kind of almost effortlessly since I got it. I mean there's many many reasons as to why um, people connect with certain synths, it's sound, it's the interface, but for me the Polybrute um, is just an amazing amalgamation of a really beautiful modern sound that can go into vintage territory but also with just a, an interface that's so intuitive you, you don't need a manual you know and it can just do so much it's extremely versatile it doesn't like make a huge statement and it's through its versatility and interface and depth of sound like combined into this like beautiful package it just really hits a, a wonderful s sweet spot for me it's not this esoteric wild card you pull out every now and again you know it's something that you use every single day when you're writing music it's a workhorse but it's also one that um through its interface inspires a lot of creativity so i thought before the 12 comes into the studio uh, while i've still got the polybrute 6 i'd make a video to try and highlight an aspect of the Polybrute 6 that I use quite a lot and it's a side of it that I don't often see in many YouTube videos online and that's the more kind of like gentle and subtle side of the instrument because I think it can be a very very sweet sounding instrument. It's quite a mellow video, I recorded a lot of the footage quite late at night and I sound half asleep for most of it but I think it's full of lovely sounds so you know maybe treat it a bit like a weird synth ASMR video or something. Over the last few months I've recorded a few jams and demos and I thought I'd pull them together just to show you one particular quality of the body group. I think it really has an organic quality to it, there's a lot of warmth, but then also it can sound almost like modal synthesis, like mutable instruments rings. There's just such a depth to the tones that can be designed here. And while yes, it can create very aggressive sounds that will peel the skin off your face if you want it to, that's not what this video is trying to showcase. I'm lucky enough to have both the Polybrute and the Matrix Brute here, and while they both share a very similar interface and even componentry, they produce very different results for me. I see the Matrix Brute as this very raw sounding modular synth, which just loves to be sequenced and programmed. Whereas the Polybrute is something that I think really wants to be performed. One of the Polybrute's core USPs is the way it allows very gestural control over its parameters. The main thing it gives you is that squidgy woodblock thing on the side, the Morphe, but then you also get a ribbon controller and you've still got the humble but capable uh, modulation of pitch wheels. And while the Matrix Brute's got a good selection of macro controls, it's just not the same. The Polybrute just really wants to be touched. That expressive Morphe control on the side may well be a bit of a questionable riff on the expressive E Touche, but it's still a very inspired choice to have it included as part of this design. On the Polybrute, nearly all of the parameters are state variable, which means you can smoothly transition from one state to the other. The most obvious example of this is with the filter, where you get a very smooth transition from low pass through to band pass and ending in high pass. Versus, say, the Matrix Brute, where you have to switch between the different filter modes. But as I say, this is true for basically every parameter on a synth, and this is where the Morphe really comes into play. The Polybrute's got uh, two states that it can work in. It's kind of similar to layers of synths, where you've got an A layer and a B layer. But in this instance, each state holds different parameter targets, and it allows you to seamlessly morph between these two states. And that Morphe little woodblock on the side gives you gestural control over this morph. It allows you to explore the space between the two states. And there is some magic within that unpredictable world between states. So you can take something that's very gentle. And then really mess around with it.
always in the same patch. Makes it really, it's so expressive. I think this is pretty well demonstrated within what might be my favourite factory stock preset ever, which is Cassette RFI. It's like playing harmonics on a guitar. Before I leave, I just want to fly through a couple more patches. And I got some footage recorded a while ago to show you stuff, but I'll see you back at the end. So what's happening here is um, when 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 you could just kind of like tap it, you get all these delay-like sounds. But there's no effects applied. It's it's all uh, completely dry here. Um, what's creating that effect is this LFO here, LFO three. That's modulating the volume of uh, oscillator one. But then the rate of LFO3 is being um, modulated by LFO2. So as LFO2 moves up, the rate of this moves up. And it's all thanks to this marvellous mod matrix here. What also is going on is like when I hold a key down, it sucks all the sound away until I release it again. I think it sounds just so rich and lovely. And the morphing is just delicious as well. I mean, the reverb is lovely as well, but um, to me, this just sounds, sounds vintage, but also it sounds like the future. This is a very simple patch as well. It's mostly just um, put together with the front end controls. I'm hardly using the mod matrix. That's a cool patch, I'm gonna save it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting a polybrute for yourself, head over to signalsounds.com where they've got both the six voice and the 12 voice versions.